Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they watch this video? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces? Thank you. We start off with a page of swords, a truth, a message, somebody spying or gossiping. We'll see what's going on with that page of swords in just a minute. What other, thank you. Then we have the chariot moving forward. This could be a message about something that helps you move forward, having victory as well. Then we have a few more cards coming out here. Then we have the Queen of Swords, feminine, independent of gender, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Then Page of Cups, a romantic message or an apology or auditioning, interviewing, putting your skills out there, also wearing your heart on your sleeve. Then the Two of Swords, stalemate energy, something's blocked, needing to make a head over heart choice. And, and then moving forward, this could, the Knight of Pentacles could represent a career change, some type of change. But it's also very, it's slow moving energy, but it's also very concrete, grounded and lasting. Let's dive in and see what's going on here for you, Pisces. Spirit, please show Pisces what they need to know about this message. What is this page of swords? What do you want Pisces to know about this page of swords, please? Can we have a few things coming out for this page of swords? For this Page of Swords, Pisces, we are getting the Ace of Cups. So this is a message of some opportunity. It could be a relationship, new emotional offer, or answered prayer. Something definitely coming in. The page is message, and the sword is communication or very rapid energy. So we have the Ace of Cups and then the Three of Wands. So an offer coming, you may have been waiting for this offer from somebody who may be an emperor. So for some of you, this page of swords also references intellect. So this is your skills as well. So you may have a new offer coming that you've been waiting on for a while or a message from somebody who embodies the emperor character characteristics. The emperor is Aries energy, but the emperor could be a, a person, a, a boss, a organization, or somebody who is either physically or characteristically older than you. So let's see what this chariot is. So we see here, the next card is the chariot. So whatever this is, seems to be very favorable for you and something you'll be able to move forward with. Uh, the chariot is also cancer energy. We are in cancer season now. What is this? Seven of Wands. So you're standing your ground to have this victory and to move forward. This is something you've wanted. What else do we need to know about this chariot card, please? What else do we need to know about this chariot, please? What else do we need to know about this chariot energy? Thank you, Spirit. And we have the High Priestess. So you're definitely standing your ground, using your intuition to guide you towards this Empress energy. So you know who you are, and you're listening to your power, and you're not taking anything less because your guard is up. You're, you have healthy boundaries, I'm feeling, and you're standing in your intuition and in your truth to and allowing that to move you forward and we do see here pisces that we have the emperor and the empress so this could definitely be a good match for you as well whether a job match a situation match energy or a relationship match as well what is this queen of swords please what does pisces need to know about this queen of swords the, so it's a good match and the Ace of Cups is something you've wanted as well, this new beginning, a new emotional beginning, which makes sense if it's a good match for you. What is this Queen of Swords, please? What do we need to know about this Queen of Swords? And we have the Four of Swords. So this is going to give you an opportunity for rest. Um, let me scooch these over and we will see some more about this Queen of Swords. You know, it might also be a decision to take a break you know, taking that rest, taking that time for healing. Hold on one second, guys. Let's 
Spirit, okay. please clarify this Queen of Swords again. What else do we need to know about this? Thank you. And we have the Eight of Swords. So you may have been feeling a little bit stuck, and that's due to a need to really make the decision to take a step back. Uh, taking a mental step back will help you physically take some steps forward because you may be feeling a little bit um, in your head about what's been going on. Maybe you've been waiting for this for so long. Um, the Four of Swords does in fact indicate waiting. I'm gonna get another deck and clarify these two cards. Spirit, what is what do you want Pisces to know about this Four of Swords? What is this Four of Swords for Pisces, please? Thank you. For the Four of Swords, we are getting the Wheel of Fortune. So yes, this is exactly what Spirit is saying, is using your discernment, you may feel a little bit stuck. And if you're feeling a little bit stuck, that's because you need to rest. You need to rest in order to turn the wheel forward. And then we have the Moon card, which is Pisces energy, that creativity, that, that um, you might not see all the details. Um, and that might also be what's keeping you a little bit feeling apprehensive. I'm feeling like the Eight of Swords is more of the energy of apprehension or where you need to, you know, take some time and meditate, maybe withdraw, separate, heal for the wheel to move forward so you can get that clarity in order to move forward. Spirit, what is this Eight of Swords for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this Eight of Swords? What is this Eight of Swords for Pisces, please? And we have the Seven of Swords. So you may want to, you know, you may be feeling stuck because you're not sure about a situation. And that's why we're having the Queen of Swords to have that discernment, that decisiveness, really see clearly and analytically, very logically at what the scenario is. And that, you know, because you may have some mistrust, some doubt, or you need to develop a plan. Maybe you're stuck because you literally just have not made a plan yet. So you need to take that time here with the Four of Swords in order for that wheel to move forward, for you know, for you to have vision about how to um, move forward. So what is this page of cups for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this page of cups, please? And we have the six of wands. So there's definitely going to be some type of offer or message coming forward. For some of you, it's going to be a message from somebody who definitely admires you and values you. For others you of you, it's going to be an opportunity coming forward as a reward of for your efforts, for your talents, your skills and abilities, you know, for that, even for that very capability that you may have to say, hey, wait, I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure of what plan there is. Let me take a moment to step back and reassess, reevaluate and figure out what the plan is going to be forward. And this is actually a skill that somebody may also appreciate. Let me get one more card for this page of cups, please, Spirit. One more card for this page of cups, please. Thank you, and we have the strength card. So we're having this six of wands and the strength card showing that this is going to be a successful victory. We have the chariot as well, indicating victory, successful victory from your courage, from your compassion, from your ability to exercise restraint in difficult circumstances. There will definitely be some type of message. Um, I'm also getting that. Oh, I lost it. That's it. All right. So what is this two of swords, please? What is this two of swords, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this two of swords, please? What is this two of swords? What is this two of swords? And that strength card is Leo and energy as well. So you'll have a time where you'll have some type of decision here where you'll need to employ that logic, right? So we have the two of swords, which is being stuck, needing to make that decision. And until you go into this period of, you know, taking a, a little bit of a step back to really reassess the situation, to see the elements as clearly as you can and make a plan and choice, to go forward, it's going to take that energy, it's going to take that patience with the situation with yourself in order to choose that new beginning that will be right for you. And what is this Knight of Pentacles for Pisces? What is this Knight of Pentacles for Pisces, please? Okay, and we're getting the Knight of Swords again. So there is this energy of change. Um, we're getting the Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So we're moving forward with something um, that 
may very well come on very rapidly, um, but it seems here with the Three of Cups to bring you joy. It could also be reunion of something. Let's see what this Three of Cups is. What is this Three of Cups for Pisces? What is this Three of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? I'm definitely getting the element more of um, joy coming forward. And we have the Three of Wands coming up again. We start the reading with the Three of Wands and then show the Three of Wands is clarifying the Three of Cups. So you've been, definitely been waiting to have this renewed joy in your life here. What is this Knight of Swords, please? What do we need to know about this Knight of Swords? Thank you. And we have the High Priestess. So you're definitely going to be able to move forward, Pisces. We do see the energy of pause, of hesitation, of needing to take a moment, a step back to really assess, evaluate what has what might be being offered or what options you have and in making that choice for you to go forward. But we do have the high priestess coming out twice now that with forward momentum, the high, high priestess with the chariot that is using your intuition for forward momentum, the high priestess with the knight of swords and the knight of swords is going directly to the three of cups, which is that joy. So that high priestess energy, that intuition is guiding you. And once you make that decision, you'll have, I'm feeling almost like it's going to be a burst forward. Um, Spirit wants me to get one more card for this knight of pentacles. One more card for this knight of pentacles, please, Spirit. Thank you. And we have three cards coming out. So we're getting, okay, so literally we're getting the Knight of Pentacles clarified, the Knight of Pentacles here. So we're seeing that we're going to, this change is going to be grounded. Um, somebody might even have earth energy or it might happen during an earth month, um, like during Taurus season, Virgo season, or um, Capricorn season. And then we have the Five of Swords, so it's some type of resistance, but there's going to be a decision made. Um, so this change the core root of this decision, this offering that is coming to you or this opportunity is because there's awakening and a clarity. Some of you, this is job related, that there's a, a truth being seen within a resistance that you have been dealing with. And this change is rooted in that, that it has been seen and acknowledged and change is being administered. Um, so this is what we're seeing. So this is also why we may be in fact seeing the energy of you standing your ground you've been in your intellect in your reason people have been definitely surveying the situation maybe watching you um observing what has been going on you've stood your ground like you have literally held your own and in the situations um that were there was doubt or uncertainty you took that step back in order to move forward because you realize that, wait a minute, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Let me figure out some more, as many of the details as I can. Let me also, while I'm taking a step back, do a little bit of healing, tap into my intuition, so I can really see how to properly move forward in the situation. And that is going to be rewarded, Pisces, for your strength, for your ability to properly manage diversity that we're seeing here and to make logical choices and moving forward to what is in the greater good and towards your joy, moving towards your joy. So we have one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall message. Okay, thank you. And we have firm foundation. So this is definitely that stability, that groundedness. You know, having gone through a period of reflection, of perceiving the different elements, you definitely coming to a place, using your intuition, allowing that to guide you in your choices to make more concrete, stable decisions. Spirit, one angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please. And this could even be, you know, a firm foundation with somebody. We do have the emperor and the empress energy. Um, so we're seeing it could be a choice about, you know, reunion with somebody or union with somebody. But I, I'm feeling in general that it's, it's a... Um, broader sense of energy that's occurring across different elements of your life right um and what's important or interesting what i'm seeing here is we just got the trust card and we were speaking here pisces with the 
Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords is needing to use that discernment and clarity, needing to take a step back and really understand what you're seeing. You know, do I need to have some healing here? You know, am I being triggered because I'm unhealed? Or what are the different elements at work in this scenario? You know, why am I feeling stuck and what elements am I not trusting? And how do I need to make a plan to go forward? And Spirit is definitely saying to have trust, have faith in your intuition, and allow that to guide you. Let's get a Rebel Deck card and we'll close it out. Spirit, any Rebel Deck cards for Pisces and we'll close this reading out. Any Rebel Deck cards for Pisces and then we'll close this reading out. Yeah, so this is definitely about having faith that things are going to um, be moving forward with the wheel. But, you know, again... That energy of in order to move forward, sometimes you need to pause and reassess and reflect and even do a little bit of healing before you're able to move forward. And what we're getting here is a little bit of truth, Pisces, right? Make better fucking choices. So we do see the two of swords here about making those choices. The eight of swords energy about being stuck mentally, being trapped in fear. You know, that's really an indicator of what's going on in your mental and emotional processes and how it might be triggering you to, in the past, make choices you may not have normally made or ones that may not have been in the best alignment with your truth, right? So if you're pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. I, how real is that, right? This is exactly how this reading is indicating is forward movement. It's like, wait a minute. I'm stuck where I'm at. Let me figure out, you know, what don't I trust in the situation? What do I need to heal? You know, and what do I need to do in order to move myself forward? And again, if you are pissed at where you are, Pisces, then stop taking yourself there. You know, it's, it's going to be time to make different different decisions to have a new beginning. Take that blindfold off. Employ that logic. Pay attention to, you know, the un healed parts of you the things that are not clear and you know it's okay to stay you know what i'm not sure right now let me take a moment to think about it and then also definitely trust the universe and trust your intuition because they will definitely guide you in the direction that's in accordance with your journey this is the message i have for you today pisces i hope it helps god bless